Sorry for the way I sound. I'm a little sick right now, but I thought I'd do a quick little video. Somebody asked, isn't hyperspace and subspace the same thing? Depending on the work of fiction, they can vary. But in One Punch Man, they're the same thing. I put in One Punch Man, yes. And then you get the break down here. Yes, they're very similar and different at the same time. Hyperspace gates and subspace gates are both concepts used in science fiction to facilitate faster than light travel or communication, while the specifics, specifics of these gates can vary based on the fictional universe like One Punch Man. The differences are hyperspace gates typically involve accessing or entering a different dimension or parallel space known as hyperspace. These gates create a direct connection between two points in space, allowing for rapid travel or communication. Hyperspace is often depicted as an alternate realm with its own set of physical laws. You got blasts here. Look at this chatterbox showing up out of nowhere. If that's true, what are you saying I should do about it? If you've accepted the reality of the situation for the time being, let me lead you to another dimension. In one of the translations, they called it subspace. In another translation, they could call it hyperspace. But Blast right here proves that these gates will take you to different dimensions, hence hyperspace. And on top of that, you can also use these gates to travel to one point to another. It doesn't even have to be another dimension. Like you've seen how Garo was used, utilizing it in the battle against Saitama. So, when... It, what was the... So when he asks, isn't hyperspace and subspace the same thing? And I reply in One Punch Man, yes, because you can utilize that, that little technique for both. And then he goes on to explain subspace gates, on the other hand, usually involve utilizing a lower dimensional subspace to bypass the limitations of normal space. Subspace is often portrayed as a layer or a folded space that can be accessed for faster travel or communication. It serves as a shortcut through the fabric of space. Then you got the similarities here. Gate functionality. Blast throws out Dimension Cannon. I keep telling people that the names used in One Punch Man are quite freaking literal. But you got so many low ballers and down players out there that like to be like, well, that's a name fallacy. It's, it's, it's not a name fallacy. It, it, it's not a name fallacy. It never has been in One Punch Man. Force transfer, is it? What a lame attack. And y'all know the rest. Yeah, you see how he's going all around? That's quick travel. That's what subspace gates do. So those little, that little portal thingy that Blast is using in Garo Copy is both, it allows you to utilize both hyperscape, hypergate, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I can't think straight, hypergate capabilities and subspace capabilities. It's used for both. When you want to do quick travel like this, like how God was utilizing, or go to a completely different dimension, it's literally the same thing in One Punch Man. There is no separation between the two. It's the same thing when it comes to this technique. Because he was from the battlefield, remove this motherfucker to another, whether he was going to send him to another dimension or just another location. Who knows, but if Saitama ain't kicked that portal away, he'll have got Battlefield removed. So, there you go. So, I hope that answered your question, and yeah. One of the shortest videos that I ever did.